My name is Derek Hullinger. I have a PhD in physics and I'm going to explain how you can tell how far a projectile goes if you know how high it has gone and you know what angle it was launched at. So a lot of times with projectile motion we're given a situation where something is launched at an angle and we want to find out something about its motion as it goes up into the air and then comes back down and hits again. Let's say that we know the speed that it was launched at, and we know the angle that it was launched at, and we know how hard gravity is pulling on it. You've probably seen an equation that looks like this. Um, D, which is the total distance it travels, equals V naught squared times the sine of two theta divided by g. That's the range equation, and you can find out the, how it's derived from lots of different cool examples that are all over. We won't take the time to derive that today. But there's also an equation that's one of the standard kinematic equations that describes motion with constant acceleration that looks like this. If you know the velocity at the end, it's related to the velocity at the beginning, minus 2 times g, if we're dealing with acceleration, times the distance traveled in that direction. So if we're dealing with, direct, with a motion in the y direction like we are here, this would be vy and this would be vy naught. And if we know the overall velocity at the beginning, then the velocity in the y direction would be the overall velocity times the sine of theta. So we would have that whole thing squared. Now, let's consider the situation where a, an object starts out here, and it goes all the way up, and we end right when it gets to its apex, so the highest point. So at that moment in time, its velocity is 0. It's reached its highest point, and its y velocity for that moment is 0. So we would plug zero in right here, and we would plug, maybe we could call this total distance right here h. We could plug h in right there, zero in right there, rearrange things a little bit, and we would get that v naught squared equals 2gh over the sine squared of theta. Now we can do something kind of cool. We can take this sine of 2 theta and use an identity that says that that is the same as 2 times the sine of theta times the cosine of theta. And we can take this equation for v naught squared and plug it in right there for that v naught squared, multiply everything out, and when we do, we get something that looks like this d equals 4h divided by the tangent of theta. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for an expression that tells us if we know how high the ball goes, or the projectile, and we know what angle it goes out at, how far is it going to go. So there we go. One thing that you'll notice is that this predicts that the higher it goes, the farther it's going to go. That kind of makes sense, because if something goes a certain height, it's going to go a certain distance. If it goes higher, it's going to go farther. Same thing with the angle. You notice that if the angle gets bigger and bigger, this predicts that it's going to go a shorter and shorter distance. So if it goes like this, it's going to go farther than if it goes like this. That's at a higher angle, and that's at a smaller angle. So those relationships all kind of come right out of that equation.